Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. Today we're going to be taking Terry Harper through an adapted testing battery uh, suited towards like her training at the moment. She's coming back from a broken hand injury so on the off camp we set her some specific targets to try and improve her movement, her speed but also to see where a hand grip, uh, grip strength is compared left versus right and left hand non-injured, right hand injured. So we've got overhead squat and single leg squat. These are standard tests that we use at Boxing Science to see where they're tight, where they're underactive as well. We've got a, a 10 pogo jump tests to test their reactive strength. And then we're gonna take Terry through two grip strength endurance tests. We've already taken one set of recordings and we're gonna be taking them every two weeks to see how she progresses. The first test is gonna be just a simple plate pinch hold and see how long she can hold them for. And then the second test is with a dynamometer, which is testing her ability to maintain that force over a 30 second period and see how that differs as well. So, so what kind of muscular control she has. Then we're gonna finish off with a lactate profile of three minutes on, one minute off, increased intensities on each interval to see how she responds to high intensity exercise. And this is really important because the next phase of her training it's going to be sprint interval training, muscle buffering training, and see how the sprint interval training has an impact on her performance. Eight warm-ups, and then I'll take a photo of you from side on and from front on as well. It's just that shoulder range that we need to keep improving, so doing a little bit extra kind of overhead and working on thoracic extension as well. Push hips back, arms there, nice and slow down and then stand up one, two. Try and keep that knee aligned with the toe. Try and use your hips as much as you can. Try and keep that posture nice and strong. Right, we're gonna do some pogos. Hands on hips, 10 repetitions. I'm gonna give you two warm up goes, get firing, and then I'm gonna take the test. Not gonna use the push band today. We're gonna use the, the camera. Nice and explosive. Off we go. With the pogo test for the RSI, normally we'd use either force platform or an opt jump. We haven't got the uh, facility here, so we've actually got the My Jump app, uh, My Jump 2 app that you can download on your phone. So all you do is go on to vertical jump and we select drop jump and we have to select the slow motion video. And you've got to make sure that you're getting the right angle for this. You don't want to be going too high. You want to be more or less on floor level. Pinch test. I'm just going to hold each one. Try and hold it for as long as you can. Not holding it on the handles, which will be a lot, which will be a lot easier. We're just there. So we start from this position. We stand up, and then we're holding. Okay. Your right one's going to fatigue first. So once you start feeling it, just pop it down and then carry on with your left. Terry's results there, she actually got better on the right than the left. Last week, we're in 119 on the left. This week, we're at 135, so a little bit of improvement there. The major one is the right hand, which is the injured hand. She hit only 39 seconds last time, so she's hitting over a minute longer on the, on the strength endurance hold, which is fantastic. So strength endurance has improved. Now we're gonna get the dynamometer to see um, how much muscular control she does have, holding it as hard as she can, and then trying to maintain that for 30 seconds. Let's go, as hard as you can, as hard as you can. And time, well done. Peak force 27.1 on that, higher than last time. So what we're seeing here is that it's flickering a little bit. And what we saw on the last test is that the strength endurance was quite similar left and right on this test, but it was the flickering that we didn't want. So that's showing muscular control. Well done. All right, we're over to the lab. Three minutes on, one minute off. I'm gonna start at 10. And then the one minute off, we're gonna take your blood sample. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna take your heart rate every, like, every minute. And we're also gonna get your RPE as well. So your RPE is there. 
So a rating of 1 to 10, how easy and how hard you find it. So once you finish the interval, step off to the side, just hold your hand out, and then just shout to Alan what your RP is. Good work, step off. Well done, yeah, I'll get it. Good. Uh, I'll go for seven. seven. Got another one in you, haven't you? Good, excellent stuff. One more level, 16. Three, two, one, well done, well done. Good work. Brilliant. So when we take lactate in your blood, it, it's a marker of how tired you're getting. So the, the more fatigued you get, the higher this appear, lactate appears in your blood. And it does it at different speeds as well. So you can see that there's not much difference between these three points here. In fact, you could probably draw a straight line all the way through. So 10, 11, 12 was really easy for you. One, two, three just up to moderate there. So if you're going on, a, on an easy run, you'll probably do it around about 11 kilometers per hour at a heart rate and it's something less than 160 beats per minute. So this is where lactate starts to rapidly appear in your blood. You can see that from, from how quickly that lactate curve increases. So it goes from 5.6 to 9.6, and then all the way to 14.2. And I've never seen anyone have such a steep curve before, but look so comfortable with it. That's the work that you've been doing on the air bike. It's work you've been doing on the curb. It's work you've been doing last camp to be able to, to work at these intensities and produce uh, or certainly have this uh, amount of lactate appearing in your blood, but it not being associated a lot with fatigue. You've been working on that bit, ability to, to run at high intensities, to exercise at high intensities, and for not to be um, thrown off by fatigue, not to be put down by fatigue, because you've been doing all the work up here. That's why you're getting those physiological responses. So I'm really, really impressed with that.